Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm showing you how to make a time played script, which is in most of the scripting games right now. I don't know why this just randomly opened. Must have tested something. Yeah, test key I think I pressed or something there. But let's get going guys so first of all we're gonna add a well let's get to the, like the overview of what it is so in most simulators nowadays it shows how much time you've played the game not only simulators but other games so what I'm gonna be showing you is how you can make a game with the time played script with, with basically a counter that shows how much time you can do it in seconds minutes days hours whatever and I'll teach you how by one simple script so in server script service we're gonna add a script this will be the leader stats script and I know all, most of you watching this will have this already done it, you don't need to have this one I suggest though in your leader stats folder it is called leader stats just this your folder name and we'll get to the folder name once we create it within the script if you haven't made one made a script yet for the leader stat so what we have to do here make sure your folder is named this otherwise then our scripts just change when it says leader stats to your folder name I believe anyways I, th I hope I'm right on that um, I don't know if it matters or not um, but yeah so let's get going so we're gonna do game dot players dot player added colon connect function player like this and if you're wondering how to add a script into your server script service there once you hover it over it should be a plus sign it doesn't show for some reason it's not recording that on my screen so I don't know why but it does say that and you click it search script and there you go alright next of all we here have let's see here local leader equals instance dot new folder leader oh wait let's go back to folder and then comma player like that and then leader dot name equals leader stat so this is naming that folder and then local stat equals instance dot new int value comma leader Make sure you're typing exactly what I'm typing. Stat dot name equals time, and then and then stat dot value equals zero. We don't want them to start with a different number than zero. So now you might you you need to have a new leader stat for your time script, of course, for the currency. So whatever your leader stat script is, be sure to add it. Now, if you want to add more leader stats to this script, just enter and then do another one. Local stat, just do the same thing. Basically, you can in fact just completely copy and paste this. So we can copy this paste it there and then it will come to the same thing don't know why that bar is showing I don't I think I got that on now I don't like that I don't know how to get it off either which sucks but here we are and then we have to add our value too and then there we go so then we just change the name of this to whatever and then that's how you add more and then but for this we're gonna have one stat only now since we have that we can name our script leader stats and not required. Well now we're gonna add another script in server script service. This will be the time played. This is what happens to get the time. So we start off with amount equals one. This is the amount you're getting per time delay, which is one. Now for now this is saying for every one second we get one currency. And so you can we can change this to 60 for a minute we can change it to 3600 for an hour we can change it to 86400 for a day and then you can just keep going so but for seconds i'm just going to do one if you want minutes again just do 60 depends what you want so time delay i'm just going to do for seconds time delay equals one then enter and then currency name 
equals time. So this is the name of our currency that we made on our script. And then enter while true do wait it's time delay. So this is waiting for the time delay. And then for i comma v in pairs parentheses game dot players colon get players do make sure you have these other parentheses here and make sure there's a space by do then enter and then if v colon find first child parentheses leader stats this is getting our folder and v then this is all space here as well and then enter v dot leader stats and then these brackets right here currency name dot and then e exit out of let's see okay exit out of the currency name bracket and then after the bracket dot value equals v dot leader stats brackets currency name dot value plus amount like that guys so this is basically just repeating this then giving the amount afterwards and that is all we have for this script make sure you have the three ends no brackets after the ends and that's all you, all we all you need for this so let's test her out guys hopefully this works and we can see if now you have a time played in your game so hopefully once we join in, it'll start ticking off the seconds. It even starts ticking off when you're loading because that's still playing. 9, 10, every second it's giving us a value. And this can work for cash too, guys. If you got cash, uh, yeah, then you can just do it for that as well. Now you might be like, oh, should be in a local script for, so it does your amount. But I believe I've tested it out. And I think that's that's why I don't think you, you need one for this. But if we do put it inside a local script, you can't add that in the server script service. So we just bring in a local script, move it there. And then if we just put this into this, I wonder if it will still work. If it does, then I think we should just do it in a local script. Not sure, though. No, it does not work. I'm not an expert, guys, with scripts like this and stuff. It's probably something we have to modify. But, yeah, if you want the seconds to 60 and all that, then be sure to change this to 60, and it will work for every second. But now let's go to starter GUI and add a screen GUI into there using that plus thing I told you about. And then inside the screen GUI, click the plus and then text label. Here will be our label for the time played bar. We're just going to name time played, or we'll just put seconds. Background transparency you can always change like this. Move that to 1, and then change this to white if you'd like. And then we can duplicate the seconds, and then we can just make the number thing change the text to zero and now we don't have to scale this but we can move it over like this and there we go so we have our nice second symbol so right here inside the zero we're gonna add a um, script I believe into this or a local script we'll just have to pretty sure it's a script though and then we do Local time equals script dot parent dot parent. We're gonna have to do four parents here. So dot parent dot parent dot leader stats. My bad. Dot leader stats colon wait for child. And then in parentheses put time, and then enter that, and then function space change with the parentheses script dot parent dot text equals. Now with this, we're gonna have to have a space in between these two. Um, dialogue marks I am um, just don't know what to call them guys 
Oh, 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 okay, guys. Since time is actually just built in the studio, we're, we can't have time here. We're going to have to put times and then change this to times. Times dot value. Then we have our end there. Just move down. And then time dot changed. Well, times dot changed. Colon connect. And then in parentheses, we put changed. And then there. So. This should change it with our label here, and I'm actually pretty sure now that I look at it, it's a local script. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's test it, guys, very quickly, and then we will see. Now, you might notice with the normal time script that, oh, it got right, right when the first person hit 60. It gave everyone a value, even to someone. That, that's just because, guys, I suggest then just using the seconds thing. But as you can see, it's actually going up now, so I guess we were right about it being in a script. Well, since it was overlapping this, I'm just going to move it over just a little. And there you go, guys. That's how to make a time played game basically to add it to your game kind of a confusing tutorial this is the first one I've done in a while so we'll have to see if this helped guys and on the pinned comment there will be a discord link if it did not work where you can ask us for help in that discord server so be sure to check that out join it apply for scripting issues section and then we will help you so yeah, see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.